So I have uh, gone ahead and removed the screws to hold the uh, little drive system plate onto the plinth. And now I'm going to go ahead and lift off the idler wheel so that I can uh, lift the plate off the drive. So when you take an idler wheel off, anytime you do any work on <clears throat> a record changer, record player, and um, you've got to lift the idler wheel off, make sure that you document somehow, whether you write it down, draw a picture, do whatever, uh, make a video. Um, document what um, what is there in terms of washers and spacers and such and uh, where they're located, even their orientation. Sometimes things have a, a concave feature and you want it either facing up or down. So I got a little fiber washer here. I want to be real careful with that because they do break, but they're important. <clears throat> I don't see any other spacers on the top, so I'll go ahead and lift the either wheel off. Again, document which side is the top side. You think it'll be obvious, but if you don't put this together for a few weeks, it might not be so obvious. So I'm going to go ahead and lift that idler wheel off, and we'll take a closer look at it shortly. Uh -huh. So there's a, there's a part number, which is really handy if I have to order a new one. This is a replacement, because that's an aftermarket. Walsh goes an aftermarket. I have some of those in my new old stock stash. Um, looking at this... Uh, right off, you know, just initial glance, I do not see um, a lot of cracks and stuff. There are some blemishes and maybe some little cracks starting, but uh, unless the owner is going to, like, use this like crazy for high, trying to do high fidelity, I think he's going to probably want me to let this be. I'll dress it on my drill press and uh, clean it up with rubber renew and I think it's going to work fine because it's still really soft. You can kind of see it if you see you can see it's still plenty soft and I don't see any cracks starting when I do that. So that's a really good sign. You know you see surface cracking and that's going to happen sometimes it'll happen when it's fairly young. Um, looks like it might have been dressed once in the past. That, that might be you know left from that but that's okay. Um, that might even looks almost like belt dressing because it left a residue, but I'll clean that all off Address it with rubber renew and then I'll put a little surface on it with some thousand grit or something like that um, While turning it on my drill press So there we go. There's that. Okay, so the idler wheel is off There is a single uh, additional fiber spacer that sat under the idler wheel That is being stubborn so you want to be really careful with these. Sometimes, there we go. You just have to coax it a bit and talk it into coming off. Okay, so um, I can go ahead now and set myself up to lift the, uh, the plate off of this. Boy, do you guys that have been doing this for a long time? I gotta hand it to you, man. This is hard. I'm gonna take this off camera so I don't damage it. Check this out. This is one of those watch outs. So I lifted it off, and I'm glad I didn't get too excited and I took the time to, to go off camera and do it more slowly and carefully because if you look real close, check that out, man. There is a spring. Now, this spring um, is attached to that, that uh, drive system plate this top cover plate or you know trim plate whatever you want to call it that spring is attached and that spring what it does is uh it is like a tension spring for the either wheel and it will put tension on the either wheel so it stays up tight against uh the platter and against these these drive wheels and so it'll pull it in this direction which pushes it out toward the platter and that way toward the drive wheels at the same time well, if I damage that spring, I'd really be stuffed because usually these kinds of springs are really tough to find. They're uh, they're kind of you know you can always find one that's the right length but the wrong tension, too strong, too weak, 
or the wrong length, blah, blah, blah. It's really important to, to when you're doing this stuff to do a nice slow job of it and save and document and package every spring, every washer, every clip, everything you take off. Now, this is a simple record changer, but do a Voice of Music 1200 series or something like that or, or a, a Calaro for a Magnavox Micromatic. Do something like that, and there's going to be a lot of springs, a lot of little clips and stuff. You want to keep track of all of them. So I'm going to remove this spring off camera and lift the plate off. We'll take a closer look at the, the drive assembly. I'd like to show you a really cool tool while I'm doing this that I use for things like this. So I have really big clumsy hands. I used to work on cars and they were fine for working on cars. But when I'm doing this kind of work and when I used to restore sewing machines, um, it requires small fingers. So... I use these things that I got on Amazon, but you might have other sources. These really awesome tweezer nose pliers. Now they sell these. These are American made, by the way. So I'm big on, on American made stuff. So they sell these with serrated tips. It's going to be really hard to see. So I don't think you're going to see it. They sell these with serrated tips. And they sell them with... Um, plain smooth tips I like the ones with the with the serrations in them so that I have some grabbing these open and close easily they're really nice um, they're they're uh, super nice um, super nice things and if you look real close you see that see that you don't see that very often anymore made in USA tweezer nose made by Xeron and uh, you look on Amazon, you type in Xuron, X-U-R-O-N, you will find a whole uh, selection of their um, implements. My wife makes jewelry, and I bought her a whole, um, a whole variety of different ones, and she uses all of them and loves them. The cool thing about this brand is that this material is real grippy, so I can handle these with uh, just two fingers. And um, I've gotten to where I, you know, when I work on a radio, I have two pairs and I'm like, I look like Edward Scissorhand because I'm doing everything with these tweezer nose pliers. But, you know, they got that spring off of there without damaging it and without me getting a big clumsy pair of needle nose pliers in there. They're really good. Um, I, I like American made stuff. While I'm at it, take a look at these. These are nice uh, American made um, snippers for, they're perfect for wire snipping. Again, this is Zuron as well. And uh, let's see, there's somewhere. They always have their information on here. Made in USA, number 410 Micro Shear. You get one of these and you will not want to live without it. These things are great. The way they work, these are the best cutters I have ever used. They're reasonably priced, guys. You get these on Amazon. I think I pay about $16 for this. Yeah, I can get a pair of snips at, uh, at uh, you know, one of the big box stores for about five bucks, and they're junk. These have nice springs in that work real smoothly. I never have to do anything to maintain them. I've had this set now for about three years. If you're careful and don't do any really hard stuff, you, don't, you won't damage them, and they'll last a long time. And they're made in the USA. So I try real hard to buy everything I can made in the United States. Anyway, give these a try. Check out Amazon. You'll like them. Zuron. X-U-R-O-N. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get working on cleaning this thing up. Well, upon closer inspection, I see that I do need to replace these grommets. That's okay. Uh, even if there was a single little crack, these have to be replaced because these see all the wear. So I'll try to pull these out carefully so I know exactly what their shape and size is. And uh, I'll go ahead and get some of those ordered up. Now I have that idler wheel out of the way. I can get a good look at these these drive wheels they look like they're going to be okay they look like they're going to be okay so i may just you know i don't even know i'll pull these off i'll just clean them up in place may not need to pull them off and i don't like to disrupt things that i don't have to i think they're going to be fine <laughs> 